Ouija board has existed for centuries. It is used to communicate with the dead. What's going on? I just don't want to go out tonight. You sure you don't want to come? I'm good. Go, go have fun. In the beginning, you meet Lane and Debbie, her best friend. Debbie's been seeing things around the house. She's been hearing noise, and it's really freaking her out. She had attempted to contact a spirit, a ghost, an entity, using a Ouija board. Debbie dies mysteriously. You ever feel like even after someone you love has died, there's still a way you can talk to them? You want to talk to Debbie? Yeah. In the wake of her death, we have a lot of questions about how she died, why she died, what this board is, why it's in our possession, and we all decide to come and have this seance. Everyone sort of has different feelings about contacting her through the Ouija board. Some people don't believe it, some people think it's silly, some people really want to believe it. If you can hear us, Debbie, I miss you. I don't think this is a good idea. This is a joke. There's a long-held belief in the Ouija board that if you do it wrong, if you break a rule, if you don't follow certain procedures of how you're supposed to play, that it's possible you can open this door to the other side, to the spirit realm. Deb, is this you? Then who the hell is this? And unless you do certain things to close that, that phenomenon could follow you beyond just sitting at the table playing the Ouija board. <laughs> After we start playing with the Ouija board, that's when these things start coming to fruition. It gets scary. We're saying goodbye. It's not even real. It's just a game.